Hi everyone, um, I'm Haley Murphy with the Society for Biological Engineering and today I'm with Jens Nielsen from Trommler's University, he's a professor there, um, as well as the CEO of the Bioinnovation Institute um, and he's actually the 2019 James E. Bailey Award recipient. Um, it's great to have you. Thank you very much. So um, my first question for you is what does this award mean? What does getting this award mean to you? Uh, so, so getting this award is of course a, a great honor. Uh, SBE as well as AICHE is of course a fantastic organization. Uh, the, uh, also when I look at the previous awardees, uh, it's, an, it's an impressive list uh, yeah. to be uh, in, in, uh, together with, with them. It's, mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's really a, a great recognition, you could say, of all the research we've been doing. Uh, but on a personal side also, uh, it, it is a very important award for me because uh, Jay Bailey was a mentor for me in the early stage of my career. Uh, he came uh, uh, quite often and visited the Technical University of Denmark uh, during the time of my PhD, but I also later on visited him on several occasions at Caltech. And he was very supportive uh, early on in my career and, and a great inspirator for this combination of mathematical modeling and experimental biology uh, and that has kind of characterized I would say my research work over the years so so uh, uh, always had a great respect for all his work and, and therefore now receiving a, an award in his name is of course a, a great honor. Okay great. Um, another question I wanted to ask you is out of all the research areas that you currently focus on, which one is your favorite? Ah, so this is, uh, this is a very hard <laughs> question. Uh, you know, you, you tend to, to love all your research projects yeah. and all the different activities that are, that are ongoing. Mm -hmm. uh, one thing uh, that, I'm, that I'm quite excited about uh, is if we can begin to use mathematical modeling in healthcare. Uh, I'm passionate about that because I think it's one of the great challenges we are facing. Uh, we, we will have to be able to bring down healthcare costs in the future. Uh, we will have to do that in order to make sure that there is healthcare for an aging population, uh, which will have an increased pressure on, on healthcare. And so, so this is one of the things that we're working on uh, and, uh, and on two fronts. Uh, one is, for example, to use uh, models together with uh, with data uh, to to do early diagnosis uh, can be of various diseases, but for example, cancer. Uh, but also another area that is uh, there's a lot of excitement about is to modulation of the gut microbiota. Uh, we are working on identifying potentially new probiotics that can. Uh, for example, change the uh, response to some of the immunotherapies for cancer treatment. Uh, so for example, for melanoma, uh, the immunotherapies are, have turned out to be extremely efficient, uh, but, but not everyone are responding to it. Mm -hmm. And there are some indication that the response rate is associated with changes in, in or differences in the gut microbiota. So if we can begin to address some of these things, I think it could have a huge impact and and that is, of course, uh, making me very excited. Yeah, no, it sounds really exciting, actually. Um, I can't wait to hear you talk later. <laughs> um, my last question for you is, for young engineers coming out of school, do you have any advice for them? Yeah, I think, uh, as I often said, uh, chemical engineering education is, is the best education you can get because mm -hmm. you are given a, a broad education, uh, you are given uh, a lot of competences that can that you can exploit in many different directions. Uh, engineers are very well trained to to solve problems. Um, so therefore, I think my, my general advice is to identify uh, grand challenges, big problems, to address them, uh, and then uh, kind of stick to them. But but also begin to narrow in and actually provide. Uh, solutions to those problems. Uh, we may tend sometimes to be uh, sidetracked uh, on the way and, and actually solving smaller scale problems that are maybe not actually addressing the, the real big problems that, that we would have to address. So try to keep focus on, on, the, on the big problems uh, but also actually get things done and implement it uh, because this is what engineers are, are very good at and, and, and should, should contribute with. 
Well, thank you very much. Thank you. And congratulations. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you.